Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Uh, I hope you are enjoying all my videos on Sheet Metal Workbench. So Sheet Metal tutorials are uh, almost done. Uh, there are few commands that are left. Uh, that are left. So I'm just going to cover them uh, uh, very soon. So before going to do that, I'm, I'm just taking the examples. So practice examples. So we'll start with a basic example, which is very, very, very simple. So what I'll do is I'll just create this uh, model in uh, today's session. So as you can see here, this looks very simple. So if you are uh, having a knowledge on sheet metal workbench and sheet metal, uh, some practices are done. So you can skip this uh, video because this is completely basic videos. So those who were not at started to sheet metal, so they can just uh, um check this uh, you know uh, practice example so before going to check that uh, if you have not uh, checked my all the uh, sheet metal uh, commands so you can go to my uh, youtube channel and check the sheet metal uh, playlist so that you can able to understand each and every command uh, whatever i'm just going to explain it today so let us start with today's topic that is this uh, example practice example so what i will do is i'll just create a new file so I'll just select uh, sheet metal over here and I'll click OK. So it is not necessary always you need to select a sheet metal and then you can you need to click OK. Uh, you can go to model and then uh, uh, you can switch to in the application tab uh, to whatever the application you want. So this will take you to you know sheet metal workbench. Here is the application if you want to go to modeling or any electrical workbench, mechanical workbench, or manufacturing anywhere, you can just switch it over here. Uh, if you missed in creating in the uh, creating a new file, so you can see the work coordinate system that is existing here. As you can see here, this model. So whenever in you are doing any sheet metal exercise, uh, make sure uh, you need to analyze an uh, exercise so that. Uh, uh, how you are going to start a component so and you know you know uh, it is it is very important that you need to approach a good manner uh, when you are doing any component any model uh, because the uh, approach will be very much uh, uh, you know considered when you are when uh, the interview was given uh, the way how you approach the model in order to complete the model as soon as possible so many companies will uh, you know always uh, check for uh, this part navigator uh, and how many uh, less uh, features you are able to complete the model and in some uh, <coughs> in some companies what they will do is uh, they are not going to check any part uh, navigator they will just check whether uh, the model is completely done properly or not uh, so i will just go with a uh, uh, you know uh, best uh, practice so as you can see here this model you can see this uh, fe feature on the model uh, in this flange and this feature on this uh, flange so suppose you can you can select this as a, your base feature or else you can this uh, this as a base feature so I prefer to go with this feature because this is having uh, you know uh, some kind of this is not a simple one this is a simple rectangle but this is having some feature so always uh, base feature you can just select this so that you can directly make a flange over here and then uh, you know you can create this uh, feature so what I'll do is I'll just um, uh, create this base feature as you can see here this is the view where we can able to see all the dimensions so let us go into sketcher environment and sketch this uh, model so what I will do is I will just go to sketch and uh, select the x y plane so this might be a very simple you know uh, example but uh, it is better you should start with a simple model so that you will understand each and every basic uh, you know steps so now you can see here uh, this is a 24 mm and then uh, we have 11 mm here and let us draw those two lines so this is 24 and this two are 11 so press c for uh, geometric constraints so i'll make equal length for these two and then go to dimension with a d command and let us select this and let us make it as a 24 zoom in close this and now let us go to gain dimension and this should be 11 mm okay so check whether you have a completely constraint or not so you can see here this is going somewhere so let us constrain it point on an arc so this point should be on this x-axis as well as this point should be on y-axis okay that's it 
so now uh, we have this feature as you can see here before that I'm just going to draw this circle it is a radius of 8 mm so let us create a diameter of uh, 16 mm and let us constrain this with a C command point on a line so this should be point on line and we have a dimension here as you can see here this dimension 15.84 and 5.16 so let us give that dimension so what I'll do is I'll just go to dimension and measured from here so 15.84 plus 5.16 15.84 plus 5.16 so it is 21 mm so as you can see here we have this arc so now uh, you can see this uh, you know tangent line so I'm going to draw the tangent line from this point so this should be tangent so let us make a tangent later so press C so you should be you know very much uh, familiar with a sketcher environment in order to create quick so press T to trim it and here we go so this is our base feature as you can see here uh, this base feature is done. I will also create this feature as well so that it will come along with that uh, feature Otherwise you need to you know go for normal cutout in order to cut this section So be in instead of doing that you can just make this in a single uh, You know uh, feature. So what I will do is I'll just create this feature as well uh, We can have uh, two you know circles one is diameter 4.76 and uh, 7.14 So let us draw two circles 4.16 and then sorry 4.76 so 4. Point, okay now it is 4.76 and now we have this one more circle that is 7.14 so let us draw 7.14 okay and let us make these uh, circles on the you know point on a arc so let us make this on x axis both the circles okay now as you can see here this is 5.16 uh, distance and uh, okay that's all we have uh, let's give the dimension between this to this it should be 5.16 okay now let us draw an uh, point here and sorry line and now let us trim the extra portions so these are all the extra portions that I'm going to trim with a T command so now as you can see here uh, this feature is done and but one more dimension is missing here so that is from this point to 15.84 so let us give that 15.84 So now as you can see here our sketch is uh, fully constrained and all the dimensions are given so let us finish the sketch so now as you can see here this is a sketch and uh, now uh, e and you normally uh, what happens is in um, uh, sheet metal uh, examples we need we will give uh, they will give provide and uh, you know uh, dimension for uh, every model the thickness for every model so if it is not given you can just assume it uh, between 2 to 3 mm uh, anything is fine so what I'll do is I'll just go to tab command and let us go to feature curve and select this feature so once you select this um, the tab feature will create a tab so now as you can see here this uh, tab is created but since this is too much uh, you know um, big thickness so I'll just reduce it to 1.5 or uh, one so let us give it as one mm this looks good okay now as you can see here uh, we have this flange here uh, with a dimension of 21 mm from the base uh, let us give that dimension uh, let us create that flange so here is a flange so I'm going to select the feature uh, now this is selected so here are some tricky points here as you can see here uh, this is measured from this point so I just wanted to measure it this from this uh, bottom line so what I'll do is I'll just give this as outside so once it is given outside uh, so it will be measured from here 
and let me give a length as 21 okay length as 21 and angle is 90 it is correct okay that's all i think we don't have anything to give here once you are given a sheet metal thickness as uh, 1 mm then uh, you need to give a bend as 1 mm so that it will looks better so let me give it as 1 mm and hit enter and apply so now uh, we can measure the length of the flange from this bottom and i'll just measure it from uh, analysis and measure distance so let me measure it from this face to this face it is 21 mm so, okay so now it is good so if you it is matter it it always matters how uh, you know uh, you need to select in uh, here whether it is inside outside and web okay uh, these are all are uh, clearly explained in my tutorial so if you are not checked please go to the go to that uh, you know playlist sheet metal workbench playlist and check it out so so that you will understand how you can select them so now as you can see here uh, we have the hem feature over here so it is a simple hem with a 2.5 mm of uh, diameter and here from this two dis distance is 16 mm so now you can measure what is the distance from this point okay so it is 21 minus uh, 16 that is uh, 5 mm so let us go to hem feature okay hem feature is available here okay hem so now what i will do is i'll just uh, select this as a closed one and select this so now as you can see here it is bending towards this direction and uh, the length is 5 mm already it is given so we don't need to give anything extra over here so we can just click ok so now as you can see here our 90% of the model is completed and only we are left with this uh, square section of cutout so let us go in cut it out so we can use that uh, normal cutout for this uh, you know um, creating this feature uh, this is already uh, explained in my tutorial so i'll just go to f uh, you know sketch and select this flange and here i'm going to select uh, you know rectangle let us create a rectangle and now let me give the dimension as you can see here this is 12 mm and this is 10 mm so go to this and this is 12 mm and this is 10 mm okay let us keep it as a you know center so point should be on the z axis so now it is exactly at the center so now the distance between this is 6 mm and uh, let us give that 6 mm here dimensions from this point to this it is 6 mm before finishing the sketch as you can see here we have uh, some fillet here of the radius of 2 mm so press f and 2 mm now go on selecting these lines ok yeah now we will finish the sketch and go to normal cutout and select this feature as you can see here this is trimmed and click ok and now control w hide everything and show solid so this is how we can work with a simple model guys uh, in future i'm going to take uh, uh, difficult examples at all as well as some moderate examples as well so please uh, please uh, stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys